Hey everybody, Josh Heston with uh, Dark Ozarks. How you doing, Josh? I'm doing good. This is the first time we've been together for two <laughs> oh months. Oh my gosh, it is. Uh, <laughs> it is. Uh, hadn't thought about that. That is. This is a. This is an important occasion. Yes, it is. Getting back to work. <laughs> I know. It is. A, it is a good, good feeling. Beautiful day. It is. Uh, it feels like summer. Definitely feels like summer. Right? It was uh, 93 when I left my house. So. And nice, and we've got that that Ozark humidity kicking in. It feels like home, doesn't it? Does, it? it does. It feels so much like home. <laughs> and speaking of home, we are um, we are in a really beautiful space. I I would consider this to be uh, sacred space. Oh, definitely. Uh, we are in the Ritchie Family Cemetery. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. In uh, in beautiful, bustling downtown Newtonia, Missouri. <laughs> uh, Newtonia is a very small town. Very small. And uh, and has a, a long, beautiful history. I, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, I think I may get some some footage for uh, for Instagram. But there's a little creek right here. Right. That uh, just is. It's amazing. You can hear it bubble you can hear it bubble it's well, super and it, calming and it, and it comes from the spring that's on the property yes so in 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 this in this space you look around and there's a lot of spaces like this up here on the the springfield plateau mm -hmm. that in all fairness if you're not paying a lot of attention actually looks a lot like where i came from in southern iowa the yeah the sort of the flat spaces and the hardwoods and and some open Areas. open open uh, cropland and pastures something that is different that you have to take a little bit of time is that uh, that karst limestone that we talk about yes. is directly underneath us well and yes and we we do have a lake under our feet right now <laughs> exactly and i uh that i'm just i'm just fascinated i uh, and of course this is also the behind us and we may walk over there in a minute behind us up there and get that into eh, we'll walk over there yeah. is uh the Ritchie mansion yes and very similar to the kendrick house mm -hmm. uh same builder uh some of the same builders yes okay and uh 1850s 1850s so this is a, a pre-civil war mansion yes and there was even a battle two battles two actually. battles that was uh that was fought essentially in the front yard yes and, and significant battles. Significant battles. In the, in the first one, uh, the, the, the family ba barn, which was across what is now the street, uh, but was in their pasture, became a fort for the Confederates. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot of history, a lot of very unique energy. Yes. And of course, you know, we're looking forward to stepping into doing some more of, of your wheelhouse, which is the science aspect of of research but something that you and i both rely on is it is of course difficult to be objective about but i think it is valid uh in terms of of uh guiding uh investigations and research and that is just the sense that one gets in certain places exactly and uh for for a variety of reasons i think that um you and i both lean heavily in into that and some spaces feel very charged uh some f spaces there's a watchfulness mm -hmm. that is there some spaces it's very peaceful and very beautiful and uh, some places just feel heavy yes <laughs> and uh on our on our quest today we've uh, i think we've experienced all of that pretty much pretty much between here and the civil war cemetery i know that uh the and newtonia does have a in addition of course we're in a family cemetery mm -hmm. but then they also have the much larger cemetery that was is the civil war cemetery including soldiers that died during the battles there were actually two battles here and the first one took place pretty much in front of, you know directly across um, from where we're standing mm -hmm. and the second one a lot of the fighting happened just on the other side of the house yeah. so they got it both times yeah and and of course and from the the paintings that uh, that we saw there were some really beautiful structures oh yes. and uh, and of course uh, the Ritchie house is a very beautiful structure but uh, structures that are no longer here today yes uh, that was part of what was then a pretty new town yes it, it, it was it was a beautiful space it really was and uh, they endured two battles and actually 
Um, this is a this is a site that really formed um, General Joe Shelby's command mm -hmm. um, in the later part of the war. Uh, it was his first command, and, and he's the one who uh, retook a lot of Missouri for the Confederates for a time, and came very close to taking the entire state. And of course, if the state of Missouri had uh, been retaken by the Confederates, the, the war itself might have taken a very different turn. It certainly would have taken longer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so uh, a, lot of, a lot of history happened right where we're standing. Yeah, a lot of pivotal yes. history uh, that, that I think shaped the fortunes of a nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, in, in, uh, in fact, I think that uh, if some of those stories were told, some of the names that fought here would have been a little more pro uh, profound and mm -hmm. remembered more now. And, and remembered. And of course, Shelby is one of those Definitely. men. And, uh, and Mr. Ritchie. Yes. Uh, whose grave is behind us. Yes, he is. He is very <laughs> behind us. And, and he, he was a, a colonel. Um, in the Union Army, and um, uh, that's probably why the mansion <laughs> remains, to be perfectly honest. Right, so speaking of the mansion, should we take a few minutes and walk over there just to show people sure. what it looks like? We'll take you along. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh, they say I can't, can't walk, uh, walk and chew gum at the same time, but... Uh, we'll see we'll, what we can do. We'll see what we can do. I'll try not to fall over any more headstones. <laughs> It's not meant to be disrespectful if I didn't mean to. And uh, to me, what is really striking uh, about this whole area is it to me, it is it is a, a confluence of the north, the south and the old west. Well, it really is definitely because the this part of Missouri was definitely a lot lean southern, but there were a lot of union men like Mr. Ritchie, so it was not just one-sided, and uh, um, it, it became complex. In fact, Colonel Ritchie, he was a union man, but he owned slaves. And that happened a lot. It did, um, but the, his slaves were really a part of the household, mm -hmm. and they, they have their own cemetery uh, along with the uh, family cemetery in the front yard, basically. Yeah. And of course, we are in front of the the Ritchie Mansion and this beautiful brick walk, this original brick walk that we're yes. standing on now. I love this space. Oh, I do too. It's uh, definitely something that is reminiscent of the time, pride, and effort. Yeah. When yeah. this was built. And, uh, and you know, you think about it, at the time that this, this beautiful, beautiful home was being constructed, most of the people in this area were living in log cabins. Yes, a one-room log cabin. Mm -hmm. And it, maybe with a log notched out if they had any, yeah. any window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here it's, it, is, it is just an incredibly, incredibly beautiful home. It is, and really, very original. Mm -hmm. Things haven't been changed much. And uh, there is one corner that uh, got knocked out with a cannonball. Yes, and the damage is still there. Yeah, I'm I don't know sure. if you can see it. It's on the. It's right on the corner. Right on the corner. You can see where it went through the last line of bricks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, as part of Dark Ozarks, there are uh, paranormal stories yes. associated with this. I don't know how far we want to go today, but, but well, this, there's definitely activity or things that have been observed. Yes, and, and, and by a lot of people, including law enforcement. Yes. And yes. so, you, you know, you have tale, personal accounts from people who are very credible and uh, not expecting to run in what the, to what they ran into. And I think sometimes, to me, those are some of the most powerful. It's one thing if we psych ourselves up. Right. Uh, with an anticipation that we're going to see something uh, the mind is very powerful. Mm -hmm. It can uh, play a lot of tricks on us and suggest things <laughs> and suggest things and uh, and give way to our own suggestions. But then there are those very powerful moments that uh, you know we weren't expecting it. We weren't looking for it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I I tend for myself. I tend to think about that with my experience at the Crescent Hotel. Right. I, I went in cold. Right. I went in with no anticipation or expectation. And uh, some of the stories here, that's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. so. 
although a bit less malevolent. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> not, not quite as unsettling. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so of course, if you're watching this, uh, you're on uh, watching Dark Ozarks on Facebook, and uh, just uh, feel free to like our page, follow us, and uh, we look forward to bringing uh, this type. We're both very um, committed to bringing this this respectful but entertaining um, historical and folkloric aspects of the Ozarks to real life. Yes. Told about the Ozarks by Ozarkers. Especially when there are no easy answers. Absolutely. We'll catch y'all soon. Thank you.